if you just got a digital notebook from my shop or from whatever on the interwebs and you just want to get started taking notes or journaling or making doodles on your iPad, this video is for you because I'm going to show you how I use my digital notebooks on my iPad in GoodNotes, an app called GoodNotes. So let's get started. This video has been brought to you by EasyPrintablePlanners.com, a shop with printable planners and planner stickers for blogging, business, and life. Okay, so open your app. Uh, in this case, it's GoodNotes. You can download it from the App Store. And now we're gonna import the digital notebook so click on the sign plus then click on import and then search for your digital notebook i have mine on my dropbox so i'm browsing my files until i find it okay now it's here click on it and here you can see well this is one of the digital notebooks you can find on my store on my etsy shop and you can see there are several covers so it's time to pick one of the covers and write down the title that i want to give it so here i'm selecting this pencil or pen tool and i'm writing down my journal and uh, you can click here this uh, tool select tool so you can move things around i'm selecting the text in order to center it and now my cover is ready so i'm gonna select the rest of the covers to delete them so here i just clicked edit i selected the covers and i clicked on delete okay now i'm ready to keep using my journal or my digital notebook here you can select the read only tools so you can go uh, through the tabs and here i'm on on this section i'm gonna write down brainstorm and brain dump you have some space to write things down make some doodles or whatever you want to add to your section covers and then if you click again on the read only button you can also go to other sections and do exactly the same write the title or the name of this section click again on the read only section and we can move through the tabs because these are hyperlink tabs and here i'm also writing down the name of this section which is for meals and fitness and I'm writing down something like a cheer up quote or motivational quote that yes, I can do it because yes, we can keep up with our fitness and healthy meals, right? Okay, now on the contents page, I'm gonna write down what uh, the name of each section and what it's all about. So for section number one, we said it's for brainstorm and brain dump, everything that comes to my mind, whether it's for work, for my home, uh, for uh, an, a fun activity that I have, whatever it is, it's going to go in this section. For section number two, this is my day-to-day -day journaling or my everyday journaling. So every day or whenever i feel like um hopefully every day i will journal about my day and i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this in a minute now section number three we said it's all about my meals and my fitness so i'm gonna use this section to track um, what i eat over the whole day and what i do to exercise and move my body because it's quite important for me to stay healthy and feel energized and happy of course okay now on the read only section i'm going to move 
to my first section and then I'm gonna click again on the pen so I can edit and write things down. So here, every, and every time I write things down, whether it's for brainstorm or for journaling, I like to write the date. So here's the date, and then you can add a title or something. Here I just wrote down brain dump, and I use this pink highlighter to make sure it's, <laughs> it's clear that this brain dump quote is the title. And I'm gonna put everything that's in my head on this page. Everything, everything, everything. I love to brain down because every time I feel oh, like super overwhelmed because I'm thinking of all, all, on all the things that I gotta do, I just take my notebook, my iPad, my Apple Pencil, and I write things down and it immediately helps me feel refreshed and lighter. And yes, of course, I give priorities and set dates or at least estimate dates on when I'm gonna uh, have the time to make this happen. Now again, I'm clicking the read only so I can move to the next section, the everyday journaling section. Again, I'm gonna write down the date because I like to know when I wrote things down or when was the time when I wrote this or that. Then I'm also writing my title for the day, which is just my day. Okay, and now I'm ready to journal about my day. Usually I like to write things down, answering some questions like what I did today, how did I feel today, what was right and uh, why or what things I feel thankful for, uh, what can I improve to live happier and more fulfilling days. These are basically the, th the things I write or I journal about. I like to keep things concise and simple because otherwise I would be like, oh my gosh, this takes so much time and energy and I'd rather spend this time doing something else or, or chatting with my husband or whatever, right? So I try to keep my journaling concise, answering these questions. And please excuse my back calligraphy if you're struggling with this too, um, because writing down an iPad is kind of daunting at the beginning and a little bit difficult. Uh, you can use this little tool to adjust where you want to write, a little window will pop up at the bottom with the lines, the whole page in a bigger format so you can write things down there and you will see that your calligraphy improves a lot when you use this tool. You can also change the color of the ink of your pen. You can use black, blue, or red and I really like that it is a lot easier to write things down with this tool. So here I'm aligning where I want to write down and I write down. You will see your text a lot bigger than on the real page and this is really helpful. You can also create bookmarks on the same app, on the GoodNotes app. This is really helpful when you want to find a specific page or in my in this case when I want to find a specific date. If I want to find what I wrote down on the 14th of August, I'm gonna click on the plus button and I'm gonna pick bookmark. Then you can write down the title of this bookmark and on the thumbnails, on the thumbnails view or the thumbnails button, you can go at the bottom, click bookmarks and then click on the bookmark that you want. Here I just have one because it's this sample page that I'm creating for you, but you can have as many bookmarks as you want. And there's another tool, this one with the little shapes that you can use to create circles, triangles, squares in order to highlight text or create boxes. I, I think it's pretty helpful. This time I'm gonna erase them, but you can keep in mind that you can do this stuff. Finally, click the read only button so you can move through the tabs and so the tabs are actually clickable and so you can move from section to section. You can also take a look at your pages 
and add or remove pages with the thumbnails view on the app. You can make as many edits as you want and basically this is how you can use your digital notebooks for note taking for school, to journal, to use as a daily or weekly planner, whatever you want to use it for, this is how you can do it. Hope to see you on the next video. I hope you have liked this video. If so, let me know in the comments for what? For what are you going to use your digital notebooks on your iPad or on your tablet? And of course, give me a thumbs up. Hope to see you on the next video and bye!